Right. Um, okay. Yes, we are. Okay. So yes, as uh, Mark said, we had um, a last minute pullout, unfortunately. So um, I'm very just happy with me. Sorry. Um, so I was about five years of DevOps. Um, as Mark said, it's been five years since actually um, yeah. our term, um, almost conference, um, or not conference, but we call it um, in Ghent um, five years ago. Um, so I'm just going to talk about that. So that's me, um, you know, everyone really down, that's just who I am. Um, I'll talk a bit more about what I do later. Um, so, fifth anniversary. Um, let's just talk a little bit about how this thing started. Um, so I'm just going to cut out this a minute because I can't see my, uh, my notes. It's a bit annoying. Sorry. No, that's my notes. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just make it shall we? Never trust a technologist. <laughs> Maybe nothing about computers here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so fifth anniversary of DevOps. How did this thing start? Um, well, this guy really. Um, this guy's been um, Patrick Dubois. We founded the DevOps Stage Movement. Um, he brought together a, a loosely associated group of technologies and movements, CLI, Agile, Kanban, and Cloud, formed an unconference around them, um, and held that to get five years ago, um, and wanted a name for it, um, and he came up with DevOps. Um, nobody seems to really know what it means, um, or what it entails, but you know what it is, what it is. Um, so, five years on, um, what have we achieved? What have we actually got out of this thing um, that we call DevOps? Um, well, We've done a lot. We've got automation has come on in leaps and bounds. We've got weapons grade stuff that um, previously was a bit, a bit flaky, a bit for the ops guys, by the ops guys, a few shiny shell scripts here and there. Um, and we made big advances on configuration management, um, things like Puppet and Chef, Ansible, all those sort of things. Um, deployment things in collectivity, for example, um, and also big advances in CI and um, getting that whole continuous delivery pipeline working and bring other in, in no uncertain terms, other tools that let us bring the data center into our laptops, things like Favorite, Packer, and Docker, which let us um, put together environments on our laptops and development environments somewhere other than production to, to mess around with them. Um, monitoring, again, all these things that come out um, in the last five years, or have significantly become adopted in the last five years. Um, Tooling around graphs, um, monitoring, um, and um, docs. Um, we've even got people writing really sad products, like David, um, around that sort of thing. Um, so we're moving away from stability of server metrics, things like how much space is my server using, um, into the business world. Um, these are all new things um, because previously um, the business wasn't really uh, entirely attached to what was happening at the technical level. So we're now seeing graphs, which seem like things like Statsd, um, to tell us what business metrics are actually going on, rather than just the basic stuff. Um, trending and better alerting as well has um, all come along a lot in the last five years. Um, so culture, another big thing in DevOps, maybe the biggest thing in DevOps, I don't know what your opinion on the topic is. Um, some people think DevOps is all about the tools, other people don't. Can everyone hear me now? That's right. It's all right, the first few minutes are just waffle. Um, so we're now breaking down silos. I go into a lot of organizations um, where you have an operations team and a networks team and an infrastructure team and a development team and a making a cup of tea team and um, basically getting anything done in any of those sort of organizations is almost impossible. So DevOps um, tells us how to get rid of that and uh, actually get some stuff done. Um, <clears throat> Top-down buy-in, what do I mean by that? Um, we're finding that previously you have initiatives kicked off by people, um, techies perhaps, uh, project managers, um, and they maybe wouldn't get as much traction as they need to. Um, and we see the same sort of thing in DevOps, where if you want to actually get anywhere, then you need some buy-in from the top. Um, Ops and tooling, again, um, a few years ago, we, we, or I saw, a lot of investment in developers, in coding, and throwing stuff over the wall. 
Um, and all our lots of homes were homeless stuff, and not really getting anywhere. Over the last five years, I think that's become substantially better. Um, running lots of things is more of a thing now. It's easier to get budget for these things. It's easier to get um, staffing and tools um, to do that. Um, and force multipliers as well in the culture. As soon as you do this once, you do it well in a big organisation, it becomes a lot easier to do it again. <clears throat> Sharing, another key aspect of DevOps. Um, meetups, um, well, there's this one, this Fox one, brilliant. Um, but the whole ethos of DevOps is, is to me, is a lot more about communication than about tools or anything else. Um, and talking about things, um, talking about things that work, talking about things that don't work. Um, and um, I'm, I'm seeing a lot more of that. Maybe I'm just more social than my late places, I don't know. I'm seeing a lot more of that um, in the last five years um, to help us out. So that's what it comes down to. Um, Cam's said it um, coined by, um, if I have my notes up, I remember, I think it was John Vincent, might have been John Willis, um, about the four key tenets of DevOps, the culture, automation, monitoring, sharing. Um, that's a picture of um, a brilliant team that I worked in. Mark was in that team too, unfortunately wasn't there on that day. Um, but um, this is an organisation that did DevOps really well. Fortunately, it was a very small organisation, um, so it was very easy to do it. Uh, lots of like-minded people. Um, but if you look at the four key tenets of DevOps, I think that's those. <clears throat> so where are we going? Um, so the last five years, there's a lot of good winning DevOps stories. People who say they've done it well, uh, people who've achieved a lot, people who've got their delivery times down, um, and they're putting out quality software very, very quickly, um, consistently and reliably. Um, <clears throat> but then people stand up and say, well, DevOps is all about the culture. And yes, maybe it is. Um, I think it is, um, but you can't force that, it's difficult. So over the next five years, um, I think what we'll be seeing is a lot more of um, people uh, trying to put this sort of um, cultural change into organisations um, and trying to find out good ways of doing that without saying, you must change your culture. There's nothing that stops people changing their culture by telling them to change their culture. Um, so that can't be forced, and I think there's going to be some parts of the next few years. Um, by the way, it's in some of my notes, which I can't read, which is why I'm bluffing it. Um, I'm going to try not to tell everyone what DevOps is. Does everyone know what DevOps is? Would any two people give the same answer? I don't know. So let's try not to do that. Um, and yeah, so the tech, compared to the culture, you have big organisations that are um, rigid and have their procedures and their policies and their departments, so the tech is actually a relatively easy bit. Tools? I had to get a container slide in. Every DevOps tool has a container slide, right? Um, so yeah, more tools, more tools, but on other tools. Um, so much good open source coming, coming out now, which can be built on, things that are addressable by APIs, can be used in libraries, um, by other tools, um, especially in the Docker world. Um, we saw a stack strange this week release um, a new monitoring tool, tool, tool this week called Boston, I think it was and look at the installation instructions, uh, Docker run this. Um, and I think there's going to be more of that, and that's coming about not just because Docker is cool, but because people are building tools and other tools. Um, you install Boston, for example, you look inside of it, and you've got um, HBase, you've got HDFS, you've got SuperID, all inside of what's going on um, inside Boston. And the reality of getting something like that working without internalization uh, is probably half a morning. Or it would be for me because I'm stupid. And more and more clouds. Um, this is happening right now. AWS reinvent is on. They are releasing all sorts of new products, um, which is not going to help us all, put us all out jobs, I don't know. So, the enterprise. Um, so, I work for a, a consultancy who are in enterprises, trying to DevOps, DevOps them up. Um, it's difficult um, because there's um, this is more of them. There's more people in enterprises. Um, there's more stakeholders. Um, there's more departments, more silos. Um, all the things that naturally play against you when you're trying to do DevOps type of stuff. Um, that's a slight shuttle enterprise, by the way, just in case you're wondering. Um, I thought about NCC 1701, but just um, So I'm getting deeper into the culture as well. Um, I think you've got to heavily influence your culture in order to do anything and getting top-down agreement to do this sort of stuff is, is kind of essential. Um, meeting up with Agile, Agile and DevOps done well, I think, are good better fellows, um, where you've got 
people working together in cycles um, in arguably DevOps teams. Um, DevOps teams is a dirty word, I know, but that's what they're doing. They're doing DevOps, looking at developing software, working at the best way to ship it, doing it quickly um, in cycles, retrospecting all that sort of stuff. God knows what I meant by expanding scope. Um, environments. This seems to be tricky at the moment. Lots of people are stumbling on this, um, especially again in enterprises where um, you've got perhaps an enterprise, perhaps a smaller company who has some budget or has kicked up a project to go and do some um, DevOps thing. They've kind of done it, but then um, it's reached the end of its natural, or the end of its money, rather than the end of its natural life. Um, so you, you get permission perhaps to go and build a dev environment in a DevOpsy style, maybe using the PaaS, maybe using some cloud stuff, um, but then you end up with your VM where the guys are giving you enough virtual machines just to run a dev environment and a UAT environment, but you want more dev environments, um, and you want to be able to think of them quickly. And I see a lot of people not wanting to do that, I think they've got the old masteries to that. So yeah, hopefully some more progress on that. <clears throat> so, five years of DevOps, what does it mean? Like I said earlier, it's like I'll, give, I'll get like 100 different answers for what DevOps actually means. Um, so this is what DevOps means. I said I wasn't going to do this, didn't I? Um, that's not the slide I was expecting. <laughs> I knew I should have changed the order before, um, before presenting. Um, so answer patterns in DevOps, um, there's a lot of them. So DevOps, people, <laughs> sorry, I had to. Um, that's what DevOps is, or isn't it? I don't know, maybe. You name know, sysadmins. Who's a sysadmin? Yay, there's still some of us around. Um, a manager's come up to me, should we call you DevOps now? No, I can't call me DevOps. Oh, you don't want to do DevOps? Yes, we do want to do DevOps. <laughs> um, new department, um, between DevOps, so the DevOps department. Yeah, that works a lot. Um, who developers on call? Um, yeah, yeah. Do that. That works. Yeah. Who's the developer on call? See how it works. Other people. Okay, cool. Um, basically, it's all of these things in some way, but it's not the thing that you describe the term DevOps. Um, that's what DevOps is. Um, don't worry, I'm not going to sing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, extra cookies for anyone who knows what TV show that's from. No, I didn't think so. So this is what DevOps is. It's a nice, surely. It's a person, yeah. Twitter confirms it, so it must be right. DevOps is just a nonsense phrase. It's, got so, it's so overloaded with meaning, um, it's, it's now devoid of all meaning. Tom, good guy. It's not a role, it's a culture. Okay, now we might be getting somewhere. Um, unfortunately, it's now a dirty word in too many companies. Sorry, these are Twitter quotes from the last few days. Um, based on the search for the offices. Um, <coughs> if you have in lots of companies, is that because the terms are overloaded? Have we had too many marketing people saying, I'm going to sell you some DevOps, or um, too many failed experiments? I don't, I'm not sure, I don't know. Sometimes marketing trumps the right, trumps the right thing. Um, yeah, that's because it all is. Gareth, is that? Maybe. So back to Patrick. Patrick Dubois, the guy whose um, face I put up earlier. Um, the slightly less ugly than me one. Um, that the word DevOps introduced to technology is a manifestation of how badly we need a culture or shift. Um, so that font's probably not the best to read, but I hope you get the gist. Um, and yeah, if we can't really sufficiently define what DevOps actually is, or have too many different definitions, then that's kind of just what it defaults to technology. Um, and I don't think anyone in this room will be upset about that. We all like technology, we all like tools. Um, and I think that's why DevOps gets conflated to tools quite a lot. Sorry, you're getting an inevitable slide. <clears throat> so here we go. We've got some infographics. Look at that. It's not a great infographic. It's fundamentally that you know there's something about the life cycle. That's all right, okay. It's the IBM DevOps solution. Yay. Look at that one. Isn't that good? Some DevOps practices. That's what we've got. Some infographics on that one. Again, good practices. Please. What's going on with this guy? Um, to get up in the morning and like shave half of his face. Um, I mean, well, I do that, but then that's because I'm, I'm half asleep in the morning and shave half of my face. Um, 
So yeah, again, infographics. People seem to go mad for this sort of stuff. Um, and look at this guy. Well, I, I, I don't even know where to start with that. Um, I think it's a transformer or something. That's uh, that's from my friends at CSC. Um, got a novel. Yeah, what's well, a novel? We didn't have one of them five years ago. Anybody read it? Finished project? Yeah. Cool. As novels go, it's not a very good novel. Um, I've read much better novels, um, but actually, it's a really good way of um, understanding what can go wrong in a business. Um, having techies who seem rude and brusque and not giving the time of day as a businessy type person and understand why that happens and why actually they might actually be all right underneath anyway, even though they're rude to you. Um, so yeah, really good book. Anyone's not read it, do it yet. I was going to read it, it's good. Um, but yeah, it's not very normal. But it's a good book. Deans, yes, loads and loads of names. That one, and that one. Yay, face palm. Yo dog. Yeah, what sort of the thing? There's actually a serious point here with memes. Um, Patrick Dubois raised this um, at the last days, uh, Austin, I think it was last year. Um, that's what meme means. Um, it's an idea, behavioural style that spreads from person to person within a culture. Richard Dawkins um, said that. That's what meme means. And actually, um, that kind of fits how DevOps can kind of weed its way into an organisation and actually get some traction. Um, so maybe it's no surprise that we talk about memes all the time. So five years later, um, where have we got to? Um, I think we know that silos don't work. Um, we've all got horror stories about them, I'm sure. Trying to get people to do anything. Trying just to experiment in a silo-based environment. Oh, I want to spin up some virtual machines to play with Docker. Um, oh, ooh. Ooh, that's going to cost you infrastructure people, uh, virtual machine, um, VMware people, um, all I, all I can maybe give you a little VM, you know, I'll install software for you, there you go, there's your, your Linux VM, it's running Red Hat 5, um, okay, off you go, can I have a new kernel? No, I think well that's a crap, it doesn't work, um, and I've worked in organisations who are bound by those sort of rules, and they are failing, um, they're failing or they're adapting. Resurgence and tools. The tools are brilliant. The tools that we're getting now, um, absolutely fantastic stuff. Reliable, enterprise ready, um, and doing the job. We, I mean, I used to use this admin like 15 years ago, and there'd be new tools that come out, and you think, oh, you know, how long is it going to take me to actually make this thing work for me? Um, and you still get that sometimes, but more and more we're getting tools that are actually relevant to us, to lots of people, to sys admins, um, and they do the thing that you want them to do. Um, without too much hassle. Lots of people are treated like humans. Um, the cult of death is um, in the descendants, not the, the one with death. Who's death? So top. Um, death used to be on a pedestal in a lot of companies that I worked in, and the lots of people were. They were the, they were the guys who worked and did all the cool stuff, did all the plaudits with new features they like, whilst the poor lots guys are trying to make the bloody thing work and stay up in production. Um, and last thing, pragmatic realistic approaches to ops. Um, so not going and bombing tools, not going out and having unrealistic expectations of running um, a piece of Java virtual machine code on a 512 meg VM in uh, OVH or something, you know. People that are understanding you need to money in this area, and that seems to have changed for me. So getting towards the end now. My favourite quote about DevOps, um, Lucy John Vincent, um, and this kind of sums it up to me. If anyone wants a soundbite on DevOps, I'll set the CAMS thing, cultural automation, monitoring, uh, and sharing, um, but depending on the orders, I'll roll this one up. Um, DevOps means giving you shit about your job enough to not pass the buck. So I want to learn all the parts and auditions of the world. Um, a little idealistic, maybe, um, but fundamentally, we're moving away, and we have moved away from an environment where the ops guys sit over there and the dev guys sit over there and they hate each other's chromosomes. Um, we're moving away from that because people are getting involved in um, understanding each other's worlds and making things better for everyone. That's the end. Oh, apart from one more thing. Contino, that's what I work for at the moment. Um, DevOps continues to deliver programmatic agile, all that sort of good stuff. Um, loads of business, loads of things coming up. If you're interested in listening to me drone on even more than I have time just now, Come and talk to me often, so that's the end. Thank you.